click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to see an important process of plastic making which is a thermoforming process. Even pressure forming, vacuum forming and also mechanical forming are the parts of thermoforming process. And how thermoforming takes place we are going to see in this video. So I'll talk about thermoforming. Basically thermoforming consists of two steps. One is your deformation, second is pressure application. But both are done in a way that first you apply pressure, then the object can be deformed. Application of the pressure tends your object to change the shape. If the shape is changed because of the melting or because of the particles of the grain which is inside your object getting weak, it can be like your product can be deformed easily. So this is exact thermoforming process. So in thermoforming you take three steps, very important steps in mind. The first step is your exact pressure application and pressure with heating. So pressure and heating application is there on the product. Second takes the stretching. Like stretching is nothing but deforming the product according to the need. So stretching takes place and the third is cooling because of cooling after stretching the product like after deforming the product the product can be cooled let the product stay in the normal environment and it gets solidified and gets the final shape so you can see this machine this is a thermoforming machine where your product is getting heated and deformed so the first photo shows the machine is open second shows the machine is closed so during the process of thermoforming what happens the product to be thermoformed that would be your sheet of plastic is being kept five inch away from your exact pattern so what happens due to heating your product that is your plastic gets nearer to the object which is your pattern and gets try to get settled on it so in this way thermoforming pressures take place exact air or pressure or mechanical pressure is can be used for making a thermoformed object so forming takes place by these three processes one is your vacuum forming second your mechanical forming and third would be your pressure forming so these three processes what happens in vacuum forming you need the supply of air and a vacuum condition so that your sheet gets heated and gets settled on the object. Second is your pressure forming. Heated sheet is being pressurized by doing a compression process on the object which is your pattern and in the third part which is your mechanical forming process in which various mechanical methods are used from doing your forming process. When I'll talk about the advantages and disadvantages, there are many advantages and there are also disadvantages. Advantages are listed below as well as disadvantages. In doing a thermoforming process, what happens if I'll talk about the advantages part, stress required is less and the object form is in the well shape of the final pattern. But when I'll talk about the disadvantages, the major disadvantage is you can't make thermosetting plastic through this process. So thermosetting plastic part is cut, exact trimming is required for your final product. Otherwise, the product is not made properly. So thermoforming can be used in many processes like in food industries, automotive, aircraft, etc. So almost all the fields required plastics which are thermoformed by any of the three processes like vacuum pressure as well as mechanical forming. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and do subscribe our channel Ikeda.